and today we have some stories about some heavy weather and a pretty helpful dog. Severe storm threats. On Wednesday, the National Weather Service announced several possible tornado warnings across Louisiana. More than 1,800,000 ,000 businesses were left without power, along with over 90,000 without power across Texas and Mississippi. The Storm Prediction Center posted an advisory warning of all forms of severe weather, uh, potentially with tornadoes and hurricane force winds around 75 miles per hour, threatening the area. Over 4 million people in Louisiana were put under tornado watch. Major, ro major roads were shut down in Texas as a result of flooding. Rescue efforts were put out for those in the areas of the storm. To add on to the storm theme, although the golden retriever named Roger flunked out of the police de department in Taiwan, he was still able to help his community. An earthquake caused a landslide in the northern part of the island. The landslide took several buildings, with they claimed several lives. When the eight-year-old dog was deployed, he was able to locate the body of a 21-year-old who hasn't been found yet. Even though he was too independent to be a narcotic detection dog, he was perfect for being a rescue dog. Wow, they should make that into the new Airbud movie. <laughs> All right, and next up is Cole with sports. I'm tired of my bank. I want go somewhere that's better well you know first vision bank can make it easier than ever they can give you cash back on your everyday needs and if you use a different atm they reimburse the fees wow, wow that's great g thank you for the tip please you don't have to thank me anyone can make the switch if you're tired of your bank don't let them treat you badly go to first vision bank right across the road from zaxby's i'm cole fowler and welcome back to the sports minute the soccer team went to Gatlinburg last week to go to play in a tournament. And guess what? They won first place and took home that big trophy. Congratulations to the Red Raider boys soccer team. As for some more local sports, your track team goes to Riverdale tomorrow to go in the Invitational at Riverdale. This is going to be a good meet for them and hope for, hopefully for some good weather. Now for some national sports, um, the Masters is going on and I'm hoping for Ricky Fowler. Well, my host Matthew is not here. He's going for some other guy. But let's talk about some March Madness. It has just ended, but with UConn taking it over, all brackets have been finalized. Let's hope you took home all that money. Next up is August with the weather, and let's hope for some really good weather for this track meet. He has good friends, friends he wants to see again. So John drives responsibly. He silences his phone when he drives, and always remembers to wear his seatbelt. He stops at red lights and goes when they turn green. He keeps his music low so he can hear his surroundings. Paul, on the other hand. Thank you, Cole. I'm August, and this week's weather is heating up as the week goes on, so let's take a look at the forecast. Today, our high and low is going to be 65 and 43 degrees, respectively. Tomorrow's high and low will be 75 and 54 degrees, while Sunday's high is 78 degrees with a low of only 58. On Monday, the high is going to get up to a whopping 81 degrees, and the low is 61. Next up on Tuesday, we have a high of 81 degrees with a low of only 61. Moving on for our rain chances for the week, Monday night there is going to be a 20% chance of rain, and Tuesday morning there will also be a 20% chance of rain and thunderstorms. It's warm enough outside to get out and have some fun this weekend, so the rain won't be coming around until the school week is starting back up. Up next is Steven with our weekly Florida Man story. What's this bottle and what the, this shirt? How did I get here? Jackson, you're at work out any time. A new gym with state-of-the-art equipment. Keep your squats low and your standards high, because it's open 24-7. Now you're getting it. Complete with massage chairs, tanning beds. I love workout anytime. Workout anytime. 
Your fitness, your schedule. Thanks, August. I'm Steven, back with your Florida Man Minute. Florida, most people's ideal vacation spot, has been deemed the real-life GTA. Spring break is wrapping up for most schools, and in the last few weeks, the state has seen a record amount of carjackings. Police and natives alike have unironically referred to the popular video game to describe the absurd amount of crime. On March 25th, an ambulance was doing their job responding to a crash, and one of the crash victims threw themselves through the window of the ambulance, stole it, and drove away at 100 miles per hour. The state isn't sure how to respond to such a high level of dangerous and unique crimes. Literally stealing the ambulance that's trying to help you is crazy. If you traveled for spring break and count yourself lucky because the majority of the jackings and break-ins were to tourists. On a side note, if you're in the market for a new car, just head on down to Florida because apparently it's really easy to get one there. Anyways, this has been Steven with your Florida Man Minute. This is Stacy and Chad. They're in their last year in high school. They just found out that Stacy is pregnant. And Stacy is in the 30% of teen mothers who will not finish high school. And she will go through this alone because Chad is one of the eight of 10 teen fathers who are deadbeat. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? You just gotta remember to ask, do you want fries with that? You are also one of the 25% of teen mothers who will have another baby. I didn't ask for this. Actually, you did. Welcome back to Radio TV. My name is Emma Jones. And I'm Billy Boucher. And on this segment, we will be getting into the depths of our town. The General Assembly has proposed a bill known as the Rural Schools Innovation Act and will provide more career and technical education opportunities for students in rural parts of the state. The bill will also provide grants to school districts that will expand CTE programs and also allow two schools to work together in the same CTE program. And if you're looking for something to do next weekend, consider supporting another local theater program at Motlow. Motlow Theater Program is performing Heather's The Musical from April 18th to 20th. It's a musical set in a high school setting, but be warned it is rated 16 and up for language and mature themes. Each show is at 7 p.m. and costs $10 for non-Motlow students. Many former students of our high school are in the cast, so be sure to go support them for beyond graduation. And that brings us to the end of today's news. See you next time on Raider, Raider TV. TV.